Now, the recession may have spelt the end for Woolworths and Adams on the high street, but for one type of store, it's been a golden opportunity. In towns and cities across the country, the pound shop is enjoying a surge in popularity as shoppers seek out a bargain. It's loud and proud and on a very obvious mission. Welcome to the world of the 99p stores. You may well have seen one of these open on a high street near you recently. They've taken over 25 of the retail units left empty by Woolworths, like this one here in North London. In the last 12 months, sales at the stores have gone up by 50%. We've noticed since the recession that the type of customer profile is actually changing. We're finding we're getting a lot more A and B type customers. My managers are reporting back, they're seeing a lot more people in suits coming in. Well, I think it's great value. You know, I've got a basket full of stuff, I've got kitchenware, and I'll be spending less than £20. So. I usually tend to buy um, more things like toothbrush and uh, more cosmetics. But it's not just stores like this who are cashing in on our need to be prudent during the recession supermarkets are clearing their shelves of well-known brands to make way for their own label products and they're making prices very clear. Most of the big supermarkets are increasing the shelf space they uh, devote to their own brands you know, for two uh, simple reasons really. It enables them to offer shoppers lower prices and they also make more profit on each item they sell if it's private label. And what we're also seeing as well is the retailers, the supermarkets in particular, offering what we call fixed price point areas in store. So everything for a pound or everything for 99p. And I think that in part that's inspired by the success of the, uh, you know, the fixed price point retailers, notably Poundland and 99p stores.